co-design has really been at the centre of the whole project and predated it, in fact. This concept arose from a multi-year project. We asked people this great question, if you could wave a magic wand and create anything, what would it be like and what would it do? And that really allowed us to gain insights into what people cared about the most, what was meaningful to them. Imagine if answering a video call was as simple as just answering the phone. Hello. That's what we wanted to achieve for people with dementia, people living in aged care, people who might be at long distance from their family, to make that social connection easy, to create a technology that would be familiar, friendly, and work with skills and abilities that they've developed over a lifetime, rather than being something scary, unfamiliar, and strange. The second thing that Memory Aid does is set up to prompt and remind people to do um, different everyday tasks. Hello. It's time to do sick to stat exercises. But essentially, what we are keen to do is to build technologies that are uh, usable, useful, and eventually get used. I would have loved this to have been around when I first started looking after my mum, because there was nothing, absolutely nothing. I was diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia in 2016. I'm really delighted to be part of this co-design process. I am a big advocate for co-design. I like recordings with my own voice because I don't feel as if I'm being told what to do. I want to know that we're not taking away our abilities of our folk too soon. And if giving them something like the memory aid continues to allow them the autonomy and the ability to still continue to live life as best as they can and have that quality, then yay. I'm glad to be a part of it. I, ha I have what they call now lived experience. That's the really important thing that you're setting up, is those opportunities to create supportive um, and safe environments for people and the device, it's, it's wonderful. Lots of people with different expertise have been involved in this project. In Western Sydney University, we have cognitive and clinical psychologists, as well as biomedical engineers. And from Deakin University, we have software engineers and AI experts. So, when can I buy it? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs>